Okay, so hey guys, so today's video is going to be mine, my June favorites. Wow, I was like mine. I am filming this pretty much the second to last day of June, and I will be posting it, you know, around July 2nd or 3rd like I usually do. I usually don't post my favorites videos um, right at the end of the month. I usually wait till the first week of the next month to post them. So you guys know recently I did my really big... <clears throat> um, online makeup haul so I have a lot of new products to talk to you guys about this month so I'm really excited to share with you guys the products that I have tested out enough from that haul to tell you guys what I love and this is pretty much a lot of stuff that I've tested out basically the last two weeks of June and in the middle of, the, of June as well I have quite a few products that I've tested out the whole month so I'm pretty sure I have all of the highlighters that I want to talk about I just feel like I had more highlighters to talk about, but I guess that since they were in a lot of like palettes and stuff, I think I have pretty much everything. Um, I just want to make sure. I'm not going to mention the Stila eyeshadows because I mentioned them last month. You guys know I love them, so I feel like I don't really have to talk about them again. And I wasn't going to talk about the Makeup Geek highlighters again because you guys know I love those too. I wanted to talk about more of like the newer products that I got from... Makeup Geek. Okay, yeah, it looks like I have everything. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start off with, I think we're just going to start off with lip products. I just want to really talk about these two lip products right off the bat because I've been absolutely in love with these two. I've been wearing these most of the month, honestly, and can you believe I've been wearing like um, two products so consistent, lip products so consistently, but honestly, I could not put these down. I just really, really love the formula of Lime Crime Velveteens. And I was just really obsessed with the two nude lipsticks that I had gotten um, the past, I think I got them like three or four weeks ago. I don't even know. But these are the two lippies that I'm talking about. I have the shades Lulu and L, And I just have been wearing these nonstop this past month. I can't get enough of them. They're so pretty on the lips. Lulu is a really pretty um, nude pink shade. They're just so gorgeous. I feel like I need to wear this one more often because I wore I probably wore this one a little bit more because this one is a little bit darker. This one is the shade L. They just are the perfect nude colors to me and L has a little bit more brown in it. But they're just so pretty and the formula is so good. Lime Crime always has an amazing formula for me. They're still my top favorite. Like with lipsticks, I feel like nothing can come close to them besides my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips. But honestly, those are starting to flake on me because they're getting older now and I feel like I have to declutter a lot of them. But yeah, those are the first two I really wanted to mention. I just have been switching on and off with both of these colors nonstop this month. I love them. And I just wanted to mention one more Lime Crime Velveteen that I just used, um, I think, a couple of times this month. I've just been back in love with the color Utopia, and I really love this shade. I feel like there really weren't a lot of other lip products that I used that consistently this month besides, like, the Lime Crime Velveteens, and I'm just going to mention a couple of the Makeup Geek shades that I tried. Oh, there's one on the floor. I was like, damn it. Um, so this is the color Utopia, and I busted it out again this past month because I did wear a couple of outfits where um, I wanted to wear a like bright-ass fuchsia like this, and I just really love this color. I'm really glad that they brought it back this past month, if you guys knew that. That's why I wanted to talk about it is because this color used to be limited edition, and then they brought it back um, for permanent, and then this is what the shade looks like. It's just such a gorgeous, like vibrant like um fuchsia purple shade it's just freaking gorgeous so you guys know I really love that and then I just wanted to talk about the makeup geek lippies that I tried really quickly um I don't want to give you my full thoughts but I did really want to say <clears throat> excuse me that I actually really loved the plush matte um lip matte lipstick this one is in the shade goody two shoes I just think that the formula is really comfortable on the lips I feel like I still need to test it out a little bit more, but this is the one that I've worn twice. I am wearing one of the other ones today on my lips. But this one I think I like more out of the three of them. Yes, the formula is a little bit weird because I feel like it kind of just doesn't really sit properly on the middle of my lips. But I feel like I can kind of get away with that because it's a brighter color and you don't really notice it. 
So this is the color right there. It's just such a beautiful pink shade. I've been grabbing for this over like more like hot pink shades. Like I wore this on Monday for like six or seven hours and it was just so comfortable to wear on the lips. So I was really impressed with that. But you guys will know my full thoughts on my full liquid lipstick review and check in on this. But just so far I have been enjoying it. And then the other two are the Matte Makeup Geek Plush Cream. And this one I actually really did like. I don't know why Young Wild and Polish like didn't really like this. I felt it, I thought it felt really nice on the lips. This is not a long wear matte lip cream whatsoever. It's just like a liquid lipstick like the Ultra Satins from ColourPop. And this one is in the shade Jet Setter. And it's just a really pretty cool toned nude shade. And I think it's just definitely a shade I'm going to be living in besides this one as well. So that one is Jet Setter right there. So I just really wanted to talk about the newer lip products I got in my haul. Because I, I haven't been able to put the Lime Crime ones down. But I haven't had a chance to wear the red shade yet. Because I only got that a couple days before I went out on Wednesday. And I didn't want to wear a neutral eye. I wanted to wear more of like my other colorful eyeshadows. So I didn't wear a red lip. And I just wanted to mention this really quickly. I'm still like on the fence about this, but I just wanted to talk about it really quick. This one's the Makeup Geek Cream Lip Stain. These are the Showstopper Cream Lip Stains, and this one's in the shade Waltz. I am wearing this one today. It feels really comfortable on the lips. I just feel like the formula, it's a little bit annoying because you don't really get the full amount of product on the applicator, and that's what really annoys me is that I feel like you have to constantly re-dip it in and then it kind of feels like it's a little bit dried out once you put it on your lips. And I think that's a little bit annoying. So just keep that in mind. But other than that, I do really like the formula. It's nice and comfortable. But I just don't think this really lasts that long. It's It doesn't really live up to its claim that much. But at the same time, I'm going to test it out more tonight. And you guys will know my full thoughts in my full liquid lipstick review and check in on that. So that is it for liquid lipsticks. Um, I didn't really have... Oh, actually, I have two lipsticks I just wanted to mention really quickly. They're both from MAC. And I just really wanted to mention these again because I just fell, fell back in love with these two colors recently. Even though I've only worn both of them once this month, I just really love these two on the lips. This one is the MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in the shade, in the shade Cream Cup. And this one is the MAC Luster... Um, lipstick in the shade Syrup. These are just both so beautiful. I cannot believe how gorgeous Syrup is on the lips now. I really am glad I busted it out again. It's just such a gorgeous like sheer nude shade. Like I'm telling you guys, if you guys cannot find a lipstick you feel like you could wear every day that doesn't, you don't feel like it looks good on you, go to MAC and pick out a lipstick. You will not regret it. They have such a wide range of lipsticks that you will find a lipstick for you, I promise. And this one is just such a gorgeous sheer pink shade. And it has like that little bit of a glossy formula. And then this one is Cream Cup. I just really have been into more nude pinks lately. And I definitely want to get more use out of more nude pink lipsticks rather than my regular nude lipsticks this next month because they're just so gorgeous for the summertime like I really am into that sheer wash of color sometimes and then the last lip products I wanted to mention were just a couple of glosses the first one is this ColourPop ultra glossy lip in the shade my jam I know I've talked about this before as a favorite but this was the only gloss that I brought with me to my friend's house a couple of weeks ago because I wasn't really prepared to go out with her the next day but at least, like, thank God, like, at the last minute, I actually, like, threw in a cuter outfit in my bag just in case if we went out somewhere. Because it's, like, I never know with her whether we're going to go out or not. So, um, I'm really glad that I brought that. So, I ended up wearing, like, the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette on my eyes. And then I wore, like, um, the only foundation I had with me was, like, L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I shot an entire Get Ready With Me with her doing that look. So you guys can just go check out that video if you want to know all the makeup details. But the only lippies I had with me was one of the Lime Crime ones and then ColourPop's Echo Park and then this gloss. And I was going to borrow a red lippy from her originally and I was just going to wear Steel is Fiery because that's been like my go-to red when I go out now. Because I feel like once I bust out the new Americana one, I'm going to be wearing that one all the time. Um... I decided to go with a nude lip instead and I put this on top and I have worn this on top 
of the other outfit I wore the, the day before and it was just so gorgeous like this is such a gorgeous lip topper that I feel like that that's why I don't really need the Jouer lip toppers because these are just so beautiful and metallic and then I actually ended up wearing this all by itself like the third day I was with her and oh my god it was just so gorgeous on the lips it's just so pigmented that you really don't need anything else look how pretty and metallic that is and then the last one I wanted to talk about is just the Marc Jacobs Enamored lip, la lip Lacquer, like blah, 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 lip lacquer in the shade Moon Glow. I didn't really want to mention the lip cream again because you guys know I already love that. And the Makeup Forever Artist Matte Lipstick I'm not in love with, so I felt like I didn't have to talk about it again. But I just wanted to talk about this. I wore this yesterday, and I feel like I wore it once before um, during the month. And it's just so gorgeous over, like... Purp I really love wearing this shade over purple lipsticks because it gives it a really nice, um, like, glass lip lacquer effect. It really looks like liquid glass on your lips. It, it has, like, such a sheer formula that it makes it really look nice and reflective. And that's the shade right there. It's just really pretty. I do suggest maybe if you want to splurge on a lips lip gloss, go with Marc Jacobs, NARS, or Bite Beauty. They all have beautiful formulas for lip gloss. They're not sticky at all. They just feel really nice on the lips. Okay, so that's it for lip products. Now let's just jump into, let's just jump into one blush I wanted to talk about really quickly. This has been like probably the blush I've been wearing the majority of the past couple of weeks and I just cannot put it down. This is the ColourPop Pressed Powder Palette and this is in the um, Duo Double Play. And I cannot get enough of the blush in here. This blush is called Getting Handsy, and this is the powder duo where it comes with a blush and a highlight. And this is what the blush and the highlight looks like. And honestly, the highlight is gorgeous as well, too. I've been using the highlighter like crazy, too. I think it's so beautiful. But the blush, I've been wearing all the time. I'm wearing it today. I am wearing a different highlighter today, but I am wearing the blush on my face today. And it's just so pretty. The only downfall that I feel like um, this blush has is that I feel like it kind of fades right after you put it on. So you kind of have to layer it up a little bit more. And then it's just a really pretty like wash of color. It really reminds me of NARS's Madly. So it is really, really pretty. But honestly, it is really pretty when you wear it like just with like a no makeup makeup look. It's very intense. And now we'll just jump right into highlighters since I'm going to talk about this one right here. This is just such a beautiful highlighter. This one is called um, Padded Down. And look how pretty that is. It's just a really gorgeous formula. I'm like going to be swatching everything today. Like, I'm going to like run out of room. Let's, let's just wipe off the lip glosses and stuff because obviously the liquid lipsticks, lipsticks aren't really going to come off now. Okay, so this is the highlighter right here. Look how pretty that is, right? I really love that too, like wearing it with like neutral makeup like this, but it's just really gorgeous and I really have been loving that as well. So, But I just can't put the blush down. It's such a gorgeous like everyday color. It's just, this is really perfect for people that are just looking for something to grab and go out the door because you have your blush and your highlight right there for you that it's just so easy to just pop on both of these products and then just be out the door because blush and highlight just lights up your face. Okay, then the next highlighter I wanted to talk about is the one that I'm wearing today, and I freaking love this. This is the Jouer um, Powder Highlighter in the shade Skinny Dip, and you guys know I bought the um, Skinny Dip eyeshadow palette and the highlighter together. Honestly, I was pretty, pretty hesitant on buying um, Jouer highlighters or really anything else from Jouer, because I feel like just makeup bloggers really do push this brand a lot and I heard that the their like first batch of highlighters weren't that good and I was like oh I don't know if I really want them but then I saw like one comment on Instagram that somebody said that the skinny dip and the tan lines highlighter were much more intense than their original formula that I was like good like I feel like that's like a reassurance like sometimes I only read one review here and there and it kind of like reassures me to be like oh maybe it's a really good product and this is really gorgeous on the face if you could see that it just gives this really pretty goldish sheen it's not like too intense but it can be intense if you want to build it up more I put on like two layers but honestly one layer really is gorgeous and it's really soft to the touch and that's really barely swirling it in the pan. It's really beautiful. 
And that one is Skinny Dip. As you can see, it's a little bit more intense than the ColourPop one. It has more of like a goldish sheen to it. Look how pretty. It like really catches the light really gorgeously. So I'm really glad that I got this. It's really pretty. Okay. Then the next highlighting uh, highlighters I wanted to talk about. I can't get enough of these. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed. These are the Ofra highlighters. And they don't really have like a specific name. They're just called Ofra highlighters. And this one is in the shade Rodeo Drive, and this one is in the shade Beverly Hills. I mentioned this in my haul that I was so blown away by the pigmentation of these highlighters. Like, they're insane. I think I would still pay full price for these. I think that I love these just as much as Becca and um, Anastasia highlighters. This might be my third favorite formula of highlighters already. Like, that's how much I love them. I have not been able to put these down every time I go out. I have to wear these. Um, I did wear like a bluish highlighter recently, like the last couple of days, but I've been wearing these like basically every other time I wear makeup. And they're just so intense. Like, look at this. Just watch. That is one freaking swipe. Like, are you freaking kidding me right now? It is so intense. Like, I really can't with these. That one is Rodeo Drive on the top. Do you see how Skinny Dip is a little bit more intense? But look at that. So gorgeous. And they're so buttery. And then this one is Beverly Hills. I'm not going to swatch every single shade. But I just wanted to show you this. It's so pretty. Like, look at this bronze shade. Like, I am blown away by the pigmentation of this one. This one, like, I'm barely touching it. And then the pink one. Like, come on. They're so beautiful. Like... These are 100% worth it. They are so buttery and smooth. And look at that bronze shade. Like, could you die? And that's the pink. And then I'm just going to swatch, like, one of the yellow ones. But trust me when I say that's one swipe. Like, literally, you could see, like, insane how beautiful they are. So I highly recommend anyone, anyone to try these. These are amazing. I was so impressed with these and the Jouer. Like, literally, both of them blew me away. Okay. Then I just wanted to talk about the Lime Crime highlighters. These are the um, highlighters in the Blossoms palette and the Mermaids palette. I really have been enjoying these two a lot. These are really beautiful on the skin. The first one is the Blossoms palette, and this is more like um, warmer toned, really pretty shades for the summertime. I really have been loving the shade warm golden here. I actually think that the formula kind of varies with these and that they're not like all going to be super intense. I feel like only one shade in the palettes are kind of super intense. I feel like that warm gold shade is definitely the most intense color in this palette right here. I think it's that shade there. And then for the Mermaids palette, I feel like it's only really the middle shade, which is called Pearl. So you have Seashell, Pearl, and Mermaid. Don't get me wrong, they're still beautiful on the face, but I was kind of expecting both of the palettes to have the same kind of quality throughout, and I don't really feel that way about all of them, but I still really enjoy the formula, but I just feel like, you guys know I really love an intense highlight, like I am all about the intense highlight, and I feel like this gold shade like really gives it to me. That's the gold one in the um, Blossoms palette, and then this is the pearl shade in the mermaid palette like look how intense those are and then when I swatch those two like look how pretty that's the warm gold and that's the pearl like those are really intense and beautiful but then I feel like the other ones just aren't as pigmented so that just kind of disappointed me just a little bit but I'm still gonna use them like consistently you know like I love lime crime but I'm just warning you guys like if you were interested in trying them they are like a little bit different like throughout the palette. Like those are one swipe of the lavender and the um, the purple shade from the mermaid palette. And as you can see it's just kind of like a slight sheen. I mean the lavender is really pretty still. But when I actually apply it I notice it more that it's not as like bam to me as it should be. So just keep that in mind with these two. So that's it for those. And then I just had to mention this again, even though I mentioned this last month, I just really wanted to mention it again because I really have been loving this and I have been using it a lot more this month. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And this is just so good, you guys. Like, 
I actually prefer the formula of these. I think that these are a little bit more consistent than the Lime Crime ones are. Not to say that the Lime Crime ones aren't gorgeous. I just really love, you guys know I love Anastasia highlighters. And as you can see, I've used every shade. And I just think it's so beautiful. I really love Eclipse and Lyra. I have been testing out Orion more. I do like it. I don't love it. Helia is gorgeous. So is Spectra and so is Luna. Honestly, it makes it worth it to me if five of the shades are good out of the six, you know? Um, this one's Eclipse and Lyra and Helia. I think these are the same ones I swiped for you guys in the last favorites video. But they're just really, really pretty. If you could see those right there. They're just really gorgeous, and I'll do the blue one, too. And that one is Orion on the bottom. And that one is Helia. And this one is Eclipse, and that one is, is uh, that one's Eclipse, and that one is Lyra. So pretty. I just really have been loving this. I hope I can wear it a little bit more this month, because I haven't really worn it the last week or two, because I've just been wearing so many different highlighters and testing out so many. Um, but so far, it's really gorgeous. Um, and then I just wanted to mention these highlighters. These really, really, really excite me. I love these so freaking much. I actually don't have that many more products to go through. I just have eyeshadows. And then I have um, a bronzer and powder and, and two foundations and concealer. So I wanted to mention the ones that I popped in this palette right here. I really have been blown away from the consistency of the Love Lux Beauty highlighters. These are really, really beautiful. I think my favorite, I can't really say my favorite so far because I haven't been able to use some of them more than once, but I definitely have been using the face highlighters more than the eyeshadows because I use these more as eyeshadows. Like, when am I going to use this as a highlighter, right? But they're just so gorgeous. These were so beautiful on the lid. Like, I just want to swipe them because they're so freaking cool. Oh my god, they're so pretty. So let's just swipe those. Oh my god, they're so pretty. Like, literally, these make me so freaking excited to wear makeup because they're so unique. So this one is Free Spirit right here and has, like, gold and purple running through it. And then this one is Sunkissed Mermaid. And it's so beautiful with, like, the pink and gold. Oh my god, they're so gorgeous. And then these two are the highlighters. And this one is um, what mermaids are made, made of. And this one is what unicorns are made of. Come on. They are so pretty. Like, they're so intense on the um, on the face. Like, I watched one review where one of the girls was talking about them. And she said that she didn't think that she would really wear them all the time. She thought that they were kind of chunky. I don't feel that way at all. I think that, that they're so buttery when you touch them and they're so intense like I'm not joking when you only need like one or two swipes of them so I was super impressed with the formula of these I really do love them I think they're beautiful and then I feel like I only have one more highlighting palette to talk about I'm kind of on the fence about this this one is the sleek makeup highlighting palette I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I really do like it, but honestly, I just don't like the way it feels when I dip my fingers in, and I've never really f had myself, like, be affected by that before, But it, because it's like, I don't apply it with my fingers. I apply it with a highlighting brush, but I don't know. Like, I really expected to be blown away by this, like, just as much as I was blown away from the Ofra highlighters, but... I don't, I'm not as impressed with it as I am with the Ofra ones. The Ofra ones are gorgeous. Just, I don't know. Like, they are really intense. Like, they, you can see that they're very intense, but there's just something about this that I just don't really love. Like, yes, look how pretty those are, but I don't know. I feel like I have to test it out more. I wasn't even going to mention it um, because it's not, like, something I'm, in, I'm, like, in love with. So, like, why should I mention it? But, like, so far, I like it. But I'm definitely going to update you guys my thoughts in my next favorite favorites video, whether I really love it or not. So that's it for highlighters. And now let's just talk about one bronzer. I haven't been able to put down this bronzer the last couple of weeks. But this is the bronzer I usually bust out in the summertime. And this is the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. This is the Baked Luminous Glow bronzer. And as you can see, it has two different sides to it. So you can darken it up or you can lighten it up to your desire. And I just think it looks so pretty on the skin. It just creates such a beautiful sheen. It blends out really nicely. And it is very pigmented. Like, 
it's not too pigment pigmented so it doesn't make it like impossible to blend out but it is really pretty on the face and it sometimes it can be a little bit orange but most of the time I really do like how it looks on the face and then I just wanted to mention one powder I haven't been able to put down my it cosmetics bye bye pores airbrush powder and I think I showed this in my last video, but I did hit pan on it, so I'm very happy about that. So that will be in my updated products um, I want to use up in 2017. Sorry, I just wanted to text my boyfriend and tell him that I'm not leaving for another like 15 minutes. So anyway, this is the um, powder that I've been using. Today I did use the Giorgio Armani powder just because I wanted something a little bit lighter. The only thing about this one is this one can feel a little bit heavy on the skin because it's very, um, it's just very, uh, it it's very pore filling so I feel like that's why it does that. But it's very silky, like you don't really notice it. It just can look a little bit powdery so you really don't need too much of it. Sometimes I just go overboard because I know I'm going to be out for like 10 hours sometimes. So I really want my foundation to be more locked in. But this is really beautiful. It really does blow your pores very nicely. And now we're just going to talk about, let's just talk about two mascaras really quickly. I haven't been able to put down my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and my Benefit Roller Lash. I'm wearing the Benefit Roller Lash today. And I just really like how it curls your lashes. It curls them so nicely. And um, this one I usually always wear with more natural looks. Because usually when I wear more natural looks, I don't like my lashes to be too long. I kind of just like it to be just like that. Just so the eyeshadow can stand out more. But again, um, mascara and eyeliner really make a difference in your look. And they really do bring out the pigment in your eyeshadow sometimes. But I think that this is my favorite mascara of all time. I really fucking love this mascara. I love this mascara more than my Maybelline Lash Sensational. I think that this one is always just makes your lashes so long and so beautiful. I really freaking love it. So if you haven't tried this, please try it. It's amazing. I love It Cosmetics um, formula for that. So now let's just jump into eyeshadows. And we can get those out of the way. So the one eyeshadow palette I would have to say, like, I really love um, the past couple of weeks is the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I just think it's so beautiful, you guys. The mattes in here are so freaking gorgeous. And most of the lid shades I was very, very impressed with. I just feel like there's a shade range in here that is just so beautiful. The um, mattes are gorgeous. They just blend so beautifully on your eyes. And the lid shades, they're kind of hit and miss. They swatch really beautifully, but honestly, I was really disappointed in this Lumbre shade. But these shades were really pretty, these other three. I can't speak on this one because this is honestly, these two shades are the only two shades that I haven't worn in the palette yet. I pretty much have worn all of these. I've been really living in the more warmer tone reddish orange shades because you guys know I freaking love warm eyeshadows. And I will be doing a full review on this palette and comparing them to the other naked palettes. So stay tuned for that. But this Lumbre shade, it swatches so beautifully, but I just didn't feel like it came off the same way on my eyes. Like it is really pretty, but let me show you guys this Dirty Talk shade. You can see that this one's a lot more pigmented. Like, look how pretty that one is. And then the Scorched shade is really gorgeous as well. See? Like, they're really beautiful, but the, the mattes are really gorgeous as well. So those are some of the mattes. This one is He Devil, and this one is Cayenne. And they're just really, this one's kind of a shitty swatch. But honestly, they're so smooth and buttery to the touch. They're really beautiful to blend. So I'm going to be constantly testing this out a little bit more this next month. I'm going to be wearing it a lot. So I will update you guys. But I have worn this like four or five times already. And I really have been loving it. So um, I think, again, they've done such an amazing job. I love the Urban Decay Naked Palette. So this one really is no exception to me. I really love it. And then the other eyeshadow formula that really impressed me was the Dose of Colors Baked Browns eyeshadow palette. These freaking mattes are so pigmented and I'm actually wearing that all over my eyes today except for my lids. So I'm wearing all of the shades in this palette today. Um, and they're just really gorgeous. Like they're really easy to 
go overboard with so just use a light hand because honestly they blend no joke they're so pigmented when I used this one for the first time I was like holy crap it's really pigmented but um I used all of them on my eyes today I used this one all through my crease and I darkened up my crease more with this one and then I put these two on the outer corners and then I popped that one on my brow bone. I just feel like this is such a good go-to palette for people that kind of get overwhelmed with all the eyeshadows that they have and they just want something like on the go. This is such a good palette for everyday use and it's just like you have all your essential shades that you need right there in front of you. And this is just really good for work and stuff because like... You don't always want to wear a shimmer for work, so if you just want to wear this and you're out the door, like, you could pop this on your lid, too, and you could put it on your brow bone, and I just feel like it's a really good go-to palette, and the formula really blew me away. I didn't expect it to be that good, and the formula was amazing, so it almost, like, tempted me to pick up the Marvelous Mauves one, but I know I won't use that one, use that one as much as this one. Okay. Then the next eyeshadows I wanted to talk about are a few of the Makeup Geek singles that I got. Uh, you guys know I love Makeup Geek anyway, so I pretty much love every single shade of these. I really love this shade called Bake Sale. This is a really beautiful crease shade. Tan Lines, Tiki Hut, Knockout. This is Sidekick, actually. And then the three foiled shadows are really beautiful. Nostalgia, Legend, and Curtain Call. They're all really gorgeous. Really just ex the same quality of Makeup Geek that I always expect. They're always consistent, so that's why I always purchase from them. This one is Bake Sale, and that one is Tan Lines. Tan Lines is a really popular shade, and it's a little bit more yellowish than the Bake Sale color. And then the three um, foiled eyeshadows, let's just swatch those really quickly. Legend is beautiful. Like, that is one swipe. It's such a gorgeous, like, bronzy shade. Oh, it's so pretty. And then Nostalgia, I really have been loving, like, on my inner corners, on my lid. Really pretty. And then the Curtain Call shade is just, oh, it's so yummy. It's really pretty. It's such a gorgeous red. So I've been able to wear all three of them on my lid, and honestly, they're really beautiful. They don't transfer as much as the older formula. So the, um... Color really lasts a lot longer on your lid than the um, than the other formula. Like sometimes they would kind of fade a little bit faster. And then we have Tiki Hut and Knockout, which actually are a little bit more buttery than the other ones I swatched before. And they're just really nice. It's really not that sheer when you put it on your eyes. It just comes off a little bit sheer on my hand. But they're just really pretty. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous like red shade. And that one's more of like a mustardy, pukey shade, you know, like... But so pretty. And then, oh my god. This is probably the palette that impressed me the most out of everything. I just want to take it out of the packaging. This is the Jouer Skinny Dip Ultra Foil Shimmer Shadows. These are nuts how beautiful these are. Like, I was so impressed with these. These might be my favorite lid shades now. Besides, like, ColourPop. Like, this quality is insane, and it lasts on your eyes. It's so freaking beautiful. Like, I used um, Magic Hour, and I paired it with the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette when I went out last week, and I really liked the combination. I really don't do that with, um, like, warmer eyeshadow looks. Like, I'll use, like, more cooler tone shadows with these, but honestly, these were really beautiful on like with anything and I was using skinny dip and tan lines like just to use them like popping them on the lid for like everyday looks and they just gave like looks like such life like look at those those are insane that's skinny dip and that's tan lines but yes do your eye makeup uh your eye makeup first because they do have a lot of fallout so because they're very glittery shades and that one is magic hour like they're just insane they're like pressed pigments like, you don't even need to go get, like, a pigment. These are basically, like, glitter pigments, and they're gorgeous. Like, so insanely impressed with these. So, I really don't have to swatch anymore. Like, these are just insanely pigmented. I freaking love them, and I can't wait to bu bust these out more when I go out more, because this is probably all I'm, I'm going to be wearing, along with, like, my Stila liquid glitters. Like, really gorgeous. And then the last... Well, I have two more eyeshadow palettes to talk about. And then I just have one single shadow, and that's it. Wow. Okay. 
So, um, you guys know I um, did talk about this in my last favorites video. I just wanted to mention it again because I have been grabbing for it all through this month as well. Um, and I kind of just like take a couple, like literally two shadows here and there from them and pair them with like other eyeshadows. Like I really haven't used the, um, the palette like fully since like probably a month ago, but I've still been grabbing for this and using like individual shades. And again, I am still like experimenting with it. I really do love the colorful shades on the lid. They're really beautiful. But not putting them on the lid, it's kind of a little bit harder to work with them on the outer corners. The purples are still very crumbly, which I really don't understand. You guys know I love this Giza shade. It's beautiful. I love the Dahia shade. These are just both really beautiful shades. Like, And this shade, Casablanca. Like, they're so gorgeously pigmented and so smooth on the eyes. I really love them. Um... This shade Bori, I've been using a lot at, in replacement of like other hot pink eyeshadows just to use it. And I think it's really beautiful all through the crease. So that's a really nice shade. And then these three shades right here are so pretty. And I've also been grabbing for, for this Zobo shade. Because I don't really have a lot of shades like this in my collection besides like the one in the color Rain palette. But I haven't really used the color Rain palette this month. I've been using this Juvia's Place palette more. And I am going to be posting a full review of both of these like before this so you guys can check that out if you really want to know my full thoughts on this um so I'm not going to um spoil it anymore but these two shades I just I cannot get enough of them they're insane how beautiful they are that Giza shade right here I've been wearing so much in combination with like other eyeshadows from here like on my inner corners like I'll pop these two on my inner corners I mix this one with my molly on the inner corners and it was just so pretty so i've been doing that a lot where i can lighten up like other like darker eyeshadows and i'll go in with like a lighter like brow bone shade or a shimmery shade on the inner corners so it can brighten it up more and not be as dark i, I was doing that with the urban decay naked heat palette because that that one the only downfall is that it doesn't have an inner corner shade really they're like very dark so I've been mixing like the brow bone highlight shade with like the other colors in the palette and I feel like that's been working for me. Okay, and then the last eyeshadows I wanted to talk about are the sugar pill ones that are again in this palette. Again, I pretty much already mentioned a couple of eyeshadows and I said that I'm obsessed with these two. I think they're so beautiful. The sugar pill eyeshadows I have been really enjoying, but I feel like they could be a little bit easier to work with. I feel like they don't come off as pigmented as I would want them to. I know that mattes are very hard to do, but I just still feel like that they could be a little bit better. I'm actually really obsessed with this red shade called Love Plus. This is the best red matte shade I've ever used in my life. I think it's amazing. <laughs> And like I've said, I've been looking for, like, a red like this, like, forever. And it really is intense and beautiful on the eyes that, like, this one I can't get enough of. Like, look how beautiful that is. I think this, that's why this one is constantly sold out all the time because this one really is an amazing shade. And I also love the orange one. I think the orange one is probably my other favorite. Because this one is really nice and consistently pigmented on the eyes as well. Really pretty. But the other four, I'm still on the fence about. I like the yellow. And honestly, why do I need like a bright ass yellow crease? Sometimes that doesn't look that great. So I guess if it's it, if it's a little bit more sheer, then it's not the end of the universe. Um, but I was kind of disappointed in the heart-shaped cookie shade. I thought it was going to be a lot nicer of a... Um, like a transition shade for me and I just don't really feel that way so um I've, I've still been testing it out but I still prefer my Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream or my ColourPop Firefly I think that those two just make it easier to blend other eyeshadows I feel like this one is just too fair and that's crazy because I am so fair and I feel like it doesn't really help my other eyeshadows that much Moki and Home Sweet Home are very pretty. I just feel like they still need to be more pigmented for me. I feel like they take a lot of work to really get the colors out of the, um, out of these eyeshadows. I mean, yes, again, color is hard to do, 
but I just feel like they need to be a little bit more pigmented. I feel like one of the colors from my Lime Crime palette that's like this shade, it's in the Venus 2 palette. I feel like that one's easier to work with than this one. And then, um, again, Butter Cupcake. Again, I, I just wish it was a little bit more pigmented. I feel like the Visart Yellow is a little bit easier to work with in my Visart Warm Neutral Matte Palette. So I'm going to keep on testing them out. I have used all of them at least three times, so I could give you guys my thoughts on them. But again, I'm going to be fully testing them out. And then the last eyeshadow I wanted to talk about was just one ColourPop eyeshadow. I'm wearing the second one that I got in my haul today for the first time. And this one is called Boy Band, and it's so pretty. But I just didn't want to mention it yet because I've only worn it once. But pretty much you guys know ColourPop eyeshadows are always going to be a favorite for me. So this is the other one. And this one is in the shade Lala. It just has a, such a beautiful reflection to it. It's like a rose gold shade. And I just think it's so freaking pretty on the lid. And that's the shade right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And it looks like that. So again, why do I need 10 million rose gold shades? I don't know. But um, I knew that this was a really popular shade from ColourPop that I just really wanted to try it out. And I forgot to grab one more eyeshadow. Give me one second. All right, and the last shade, the last eyeshadow I wanted to talk about is the Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadow in the shade Iggy. I actually got to wear this a couple of times this past month, and I was really happy that I got to wear it. It's just such a gorgeous, like, green electric green shade. It's just so pretty. I just forgot to mention it because I did wear it a couple of times. I wore it like in combination of another shade and then on Wednesday I just wore it all by itself on the lid because I really wanted to wear the Kat Von D Metal Crush Shadows again. They're just such a great formula and they're just so beautifully pigmented. So I just wanted to mention that one. And then I just wanted to mention my foundation combo that I've been wearing more recently. This is basically just my bulletproof combo that I've been wearing throughout the week because um, I did have to wear my makeup for long periods of time the past week. Um, I wore it on Pride. I wore this all day. And then I wore it again. I can't remember when I wore it the last time. I think I wore it when... Me and my best friend went out, so I wore this combination. I just really love this combo. But this is the Too Faced Born. Let me tell you what it is. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in the color Vanilla and the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. And I usually love this combo together, but I was a little bit stubborn in the city, and I was like, eh, whatever. It's going to last, whatever. It was such a humid day that day that it fell off my face after probably like six or seven hours of wear. I don't know. I really did start to notice it around seven or eight hours. And the thing is that I brought the NYX Dewy Skin Mist with me, which I forgot is a favorite this month as well. I forgot to grab it, but whatever. Um, I'm still kind of testing it out though. Like, I don't know if I'm in love with it. I really like it. I just don't think... Uh, my phone was saying that Egypt just called me. Why would fucking Egypt be calling me? What the hell? Okay, anyway, that was just so weird. I was so baffled for a second. I was like, Egypt? I don't know anyone in Egypt. Okay, I've just been getting really weird calls lately. I think I need to remove myself from, like, certain websites or something. So anyway, like PayPal and stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, I've been wearing these, but I was a little bit dumb and didn't reapply the setting spray. I was like, uh, my makeup's gonna last. It's gonna look fine. It was so jacked by the end of the night. I was like, holy fuck, it looks horrible. So I just really need to be aware of that. I also need to figure out, like, what it actually is that's deteriorating my makeup. I don't know if it's the primer. I don't know if it's the setting spray. I just feel like my makeup hasn't been lasting as long ever since I stopped using my Urban Decay All Nighter. And I can't use the one that I have because it's bad. And I wasn't going to go and purchase another one again because they weren't running them on the promo anymore. But, you know, I do love this combination and it's a really beautiful combo. So if you're looking for a full coverage combo and you don't want to wear, like, something so full coverage like this, I just mix in, like, barely a drop of it with this to lighten this up more. And then this also adds a lot more coverage and you barely need more than a drop of it. So... 
But this is way too light for me and this is way too yellow so I feel like the combo together makes it look a lot better. And then I'm able to use both of them that way so I can use up both of them a lot faster. And then the two concealers I wanted to mention are just the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer and this one is in the shade Ivory. I'm actually wearing this one today. I've been wearing this one a lot throughout the month. I do like it. I don't love it. I don't think it lasts that long on your eyes. I think it creases pretty easily, but it is a nice natural concealer for everyday use, like for a few hours of wear. I like it. I don't know if I love it though. Like I feel like I'm still testing it out. And then the other one is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. You guys know I love this, but I can't get enough of it. It's amazing. It's so hydrating and it just blends out so beautifully. And if you're not a full coverage girl, for concealer, try this. It's amazing. It's just such a hydrating concealer, and I'm in the shade Fair Light. I love it. And then the last thing I just wanted to mention is one lip liner, because I've been wearing this lip liner so consistently throughout the month. I wanted to wear it today, but then I couldn't find it until I filmed the video, so I put on Max Strip Down today instead. But this is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Skimpy. And I just haven't been able to stop using this. It's such a beautiful go-to everyday lip liner. And you guys know I love ColourPop anyway. Yes, that does happen to the packaging. Just saying. It's just such a gorgeous nude. And I like this a lot more than the actual lippy stick in the shade Skimpy. I just think that this is so pretty with like so many other lips, nude lipsticks. I really love it. And that's it, you guys. I can't believe I went through my favorites so fast. Like usually it takes me forever. But... I was just like, bam, 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 and that's it. So, yeah, please take this and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at CBW819, and my Twitter is PokerFace819, and my Snapchat is PokerFace819, and please let me know if you guys have tried out any of these brands or any of these products, and let me know your thoughts. I would really like to know. And that's it. I gotta go. Bye!